Hi guys, it's Kurt from Worsley Club USA. This can get to be a pretty long topic, so I think we'll break it up into a couple of different videos focusing on the different sections. Let's just start by taking a, an overview of the top left hand side of the instrument. And so we'll zoom in on that a little bit, and this would be the, uh, notice it's called accompaniments, uh, other places you'll hear the word style referenced. And you can see how things are grouped into different categories of musical style. If we move down just a little bit further on the left hand side, right next to the upper keyboard, what you'll see is the various buttons to control those um, styles or auto accompaniments. Notice on the top row you see variation A, B, C, and D. And then below that you see there are, are multiple introductions and endings and then a couple of different breaks and of course stop and start controls. Let's take a look at the main screen. Remember in some of the earlier videos we talked about the green section is your upper keyboard, your red section is the lower keyboard, blue is pedals, and we haven't talked much about that brown section and that is the styles or multimedia files loaded. Notice it says style at this point. So if we look a little closer you'll see the name of the style, the tempo that we've got selected, the variation, in this case variation A, so that goes back to those variation buttons A, B, C, and D. Harmony is whatever chord we were playing, in this case a D7. Let's take a quick listen. We'll play an introduction, uh, one of the breaks, and then the ending of this style just so you can get an idea of, of what that sounds like. Let's switch our focus back up to the top left hand side of the console and the two buttons pretty much in the middle here of this picture. Uh, the top one says MIDI and the one right under that says audio. We went and loaded an audio file and I want to point out to you the brown section again. Notice now it, instead of saying style it says multimedia, has the name of the file we loaded and you'll notice you don't see anything about harmonies or variations or anything like that as you did in the previous screens. Let's take a quick listen of, uh, in this case, an MP3 file before we get into the differences between the different file types. As we mentioned when we started out, the differences between a factory style, a user style, a MIDI file, or an audio based file vary quite a bit. So for now let's wrap this up and we'll come back as we mentioned and we're going to drill down into each of the different sections and spend a little bit of time in, in separate videos dedicated to each one of them and how you can best use them in your musical adventures. Thanks for watching!